Hey guys, what's up? I'm Brian with Fishers Off-Road and in this video, I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks on how to use a ratchet strap. Whenever it comes to using a ratchet strap, there's definitely some tips and tricks that you might want to learn before you get out there on the trail or, you know, start ratcheting your stuff down on your trailer. Um, because when it doesn't work, it's really a pain in the butt and it doesn't make you look very intelligent. I mean, it's amazing how a strap like this can just, you know, whip your butt and make you look stupid. But I've seen it happen. We've been out on the trail. I've had people try and get stuff out of the bed of the side by side that's been ratcheted down and they're like hey this thing isn't working and it's a brand new strap you know over time if you've got a strap and they've got a lot of mud and gunk or been out in the weather for a while they may not work as good as they do brand new but you know a strap like this if somebody says it's not working right um it's pretty much because they don't know how to use it so what we're going to do is uh, just cover a couple things here in this video and show you uh, some proper techniques on using a ratchet strap and I know I, I've I, you know, there's so many people getting in this sport every day that not everybody knows how to use a ratchet strap and I know sometimes we'll do stuff like this and you know people comment you know if you don't know how to do that you shouldn't be riding well you know we weren't born knowing everything so that's why we're here to give these tips and tricks to folks that are just getting into the sport or maybe never really used a ratchet strap it can be intimidating because there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff inside of this uh, that makes it work and a lot of stuff inside of it that makes it not work if you don't have it right. First of all, when your strap is closed like this, it's locked. Uh, this barrel won't spin at all. And when you have your load ratcheted down um, like this right here, when you have your load ratcheted down and you have your handle shut, that's locked. It's not going to come undone. So as you travel down the road and you're towing stuff or you're going down the trail and you got stuff in the bed of your side by side or whatever, that's not going to come open when it's like that. Now, the way this is designed is there's a handle right here. So when you open this, this is like a cam mechanism in here. So when you open this, you can see how you lift it above this right here. Here, this, this tooth, this big tooth keeps you... Uh, from opening it too far so you don't uh, unlock it when you're trying to ratchet your load down but when you pick that handle up and you'll go beyond that you go over this and it unlocks it and it opens this up down here and unlocks it from your teeth if you can see there that's not touching the teeth right there so now this is completely open so when you uh, want to spin that barrel that'll spin and that'll open all right so that's locked straight up and wide open is completely unlocked and you can spin that barrel there so let me just show you real quick how this thing works and give you a couple tips on how to use it whenever it comes to ratcheting down your load let's say you're ratcheting down your ATV side by side oh there's another thing right there do you see I just accidentally pulled that out I've seen uh, people have a nervous breakdown because this happens because they're like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to get it back in the handle. How do I get this all back together? So what you want to do is this is wide open, right? So the best thing to do is shut that. And you'll see this slot right here. So you just take your web and you put it in like that right there. Now, let's say it's not coming out where you want it to. All you have to do is just spin that a little bit. So now we just spun that barrel in there. And now you just put your strap in and you're good to go. Here's what you don't want to do. If this happens, you don't want to take it and put it on the inside. Okay? Like this here. I've seen people do it like this. And now they think they're ready to strap down. So if you do that, here's what's going to happen. See that right there? you can't strap down your load because this handle has to shut in order for you to get the wraps on the barrel. So if you do it like that, you can't even ratchet it. You know, and I've seen people actually take and try and go like this and, and ratchet and it's impossible. You just can't do it. You're not gonna get the tension on your load by doing it like that. So you wanna make sure that whenever you run your webbing, through you take it like that and you see how like right here it's hard to get it in there so what we'll do is we'll just take and turn this a little bit until we have it like that and there you go you run your webbing through 
Now, when we put this on, you want to make sure there's no twists in your strap. Over a period of time, that's going to make your strap weak. It's going to fray, and that's not good for your load to have it twisted like that. So you want to make sure you have all the twists out so your strap is completely flat. See, there's no twists right there, and your strap is flat. And now what you want to do is you want to start ratcheting down. So when you have your load ratcheted down, you close your handle, and that locks your load. Now, whenever it comes to opening up the ratchet strap to undo the load, uh, some people get intimidated by this. They get scared by this because if you get your finger caught in these teeth, you're definitely going to get a blood blister and it's going to hurt. And if it's really cold out, it's going to hurt 10 times worse. But what you want to do is you want to grab that handle right there, that release handle. You want to pull that and open it up and you'll get to this point right here, right up here where you're getting ready to unlock. You just keep your fingers on there and you just let it open like that so when this releases that's going to release that barrel and that's why you get that kind of spring back right there but you don't want to have your fingers in these teeth or anywhere in here whenever it comes to unlocking that ratchet strap because believe me that's going to hurt now here's one more thing that i think is one of the biggest problems people have with using a ratchet strap so let's say you have your ratchet strap and you got your load and you got your load all cranked down right so now you got your strap you got your handle locked what if you strap this to the point where it's up underneath something and you can't open the handle you can't open it straight up to disengage everything here's what you can do just take that handle right there open it just enough and then put your thumb up in there and you'll see what you're trying to do is you're trying to get on that locking mechanism in there so just by doing that right there you can just pull on that and it'll come right open so you don't have to have it the whole way open as long as you can disengage this part and the part on the bottom you can actually pull that barrel another thing you want to remember whenever it comes to strapping your stuff down is to make sure you use a good quality strap we've been using smart straps and uh, we've been using these for years one of the things about smart straps is they make a great product and uh, they're also easily accessible they're all over the place walmart lowe's home depot menards amazon they're everywhere so being able to get a hold of a good smart strap is key because whatever you're strapping down is probably some pretty precious cargo and you don't want it falling off well, I hope that helped you guys out. Be sure and hit the subscribe button and notification button because we upload videos daily and we'd love to have you along for the ride. And if you have something you would like to add about the straps, comments, ideas, suggestions, maybe some tips or tricks that you might have, feel free to put them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you.